this particular time period is actually a very exciting time period to be an electrical engineer. I got my PhD in physics uh, in 2003, working on uh, fundamental studies of electron transport in very small nanoscale devices. Once again, works on the uh, fabrication of new nanoscale devices and fund uh, understanding their behavior, optimizing their performance, and trying to find applications for these devices in the next generation circuits. My group is working on uh, two types of devices. Uh, so one is a um, device, uh, we call it a memory star. A memory star has the same structure um, from the outside. They look like a very simple device, it's just like a resistor. Uh, but they are much more powerful in the sense that uh, you can reconfigure the internal atomic arrangement of the device. So when you do that, the device resistance will change. It will also maintain and remember this new resistance. Um, so in this sense, um, you can use them as a memory device. And in fact, every major semiconductor uh, manufacturer is looking at this seriously as the next generation memory device. Uh, because they are so simple and so small that you can easily pack a large number of them in very high density. Um, so that's what makes them very good memory devices. Not only do you get uh, very high performance computers, but you can do it at very, very low power and it can handle very complex tasks. The other research direction we are working on uh, is uh, uh, in the direction where we use another type of device structure, so-called semiconductor nanowires. Uh, once again, these are very small structures. They are very clean, but also um, we can in incorporate different materials in the same structure. Uh, so not only can we integrate high-performance electronics, we can also integrate um, photonics and also uh, uh, mechanical devices uh, in the same, at the same place, in the same trip. So that also dramatically enhances the device performance or the circuit performance and the functionality. What goes on in this lab is that um, we actually uh, fabricated those devices, um, these nanostructures and nanoscale devices, in a clean room environment um, at the University of Michigan. And uh, um, so we have different students, and we have several students. They work on the uh, material growth, material char uh, characterization, and uh, device fabrication. We feel that we have a technology that has a chance uh, to be used as a, a memory device that may have a significant market share. Um, if it's everything is successful, of course, that's a big if, but if everything is, uh, uh, is going as planned, it may have a bright future. Uh, it may actually be used in, um, in, in actual products that can significantly change everybody's life. The most exciting thing about my work is that um, uh, when I get up every day, I get a chance to work with my students and uh, um, to, to address some of the problems that uh, can have a significant impact. My favorite thing about Michigan is uh, the whole experience, the whole package, not only research, but also academic, academics. Uh, we have the best students, we have the best faculty, we have the best staff, and we also have the best uh, sports uh, program. So the whole experience, I think, uh, is an uh, uh, experience that uh, makes Michigan different from the other places.